Hey, Mike, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for coming to lunch with me. Um, I just, I was calling a conversation we had a little while ago about some municipal goals, and we discussed that you really weren't looking to become a manager, and you still have the goals, though, to create a greater impact in the city of Vincent County. I was wondering if that's still the case. Yeah, that's still the case. I, I definitely want to help out, and I want to have as big an influence as possible. How, as your manager, and I'm pretty new, can I help you with that? Um, well, I mean, right off the bat, I, I have the most experience on the team. I've been here for a while, and I'm very confident in my technical skills. Um, I've definitely learned the system pretty well, and um, you can see that with the customers. They love the manuals I produce. So I feel I've done a great job kind of working on my own and getting things done. And so as a manager, just if you're willing to kind of let me do my thing, I feel very confident. We really do appreciate your work. As I'm sure you're well, know, or well aware, we have four main team goals, right? One is to enable, or sorry, to ensure and execute all the user training programs that mm -hmm. we talked about, to uh, manage the functions of the help desk, mm -hmm. to kind of keep the operations flowing for the critical operations, and to act as a liaison for our software. I'm glad you brought up your user meetings that you helped develop because it's really helped us progress our customer satisfaction and efficiency in those first three goals. Mm -hmm. uh, as a management team, though, we've noticed that the team has kind of struggled with acting as a liaison and getting critical information to our software vendors. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to talk to you because, as you said, you do have the most experience and ask how do you feel we could better convey the critical information to our software vendors? I mean, it's been pretty tough to work with the software vendors, I must admit. There's definitely one that is just incredibly pushy with me, and he's always got all these deadlines he's throwing, and just doesn't understand the whole process by T. It seems very, so I think working with them is very difficult. Just in my personal opinion, the experience I've had, they can be obnoxiously pushy and just, you know, so it's just kind of get the way. communication away. problem with the, the software vendors? Yeah, they just don't understand, like, the work we do, and the work that I've been doing has been so great, and all the customers love it, so, when I have someone breathing down my neck, it's definitely not fun. I can absolutely understand. I know upper management and other people can breathe down your neck and it can be frustrating. Mm -hmm. So we still want to be able to convey critical information to them, right? We still need them to function mm -hmm. as part of our business. But I do understand the deadline problem. So if I was to talk to them and establish a communication funnel where they can talk to me about deadlines and then I can work that out in our scheduling, but still have you guys communicate the critical information to them, mm -hmm. would that work for you? I mean, yeah, it's mainly just one guy that I don't get along with, and we just definitely clash on that. Is so, there anyone else on the team that you feel could work with them, or would be willing to? Um, I don't know, because the team's fairly new. We, we haven't lost a customer yet. We've been working together for about four months, so I don't really know very well. But definitely the vendors have been kind of Before we kind of solve that problem, I'd also like to talk about the team. I'm glad you also brought that up. Um, with teamwork, as you said, you are the most senior analyst. And you've done amazing things with our company today. Yeah, bravo to you. Um, but we're really looking to have our team glean from your knowledge and your experience. And we're wondering in what ways do you feel that we could set up the team more to where it'd be a learning experience where they could would be more like you. Wow, that's a good question. Um, I def I'm glad you brought this up because it has been kind of concerning because we got a new manager about four months ago and before then everyone kind of, they did their own thing and I really liked that. I was like, I could flourish with that. So I feel when personalities sometimes clash, people blame it on teamwork and not working together and then they try and get everyone to you know, just talk things, problems through when maybe something like IT is better.